so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this procedural pattern texture in the blender with the help of the node setup and i will also talk about how you can create this cloth collision effect with the help of the soft body so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so first of all i'm just going to stop my animation then i'm just going to enable my screen yeah and uh, now i'm just going to select a and going to delete everything before doing anything i'm just going to enable my screencast key so you can easily see which key i'm pressing so on the left hand side you can see by the way so first of all i'm just going to add one cylinder here pressing the shift a and then i'm just going to rotate this something like that yeah 90 degree then i'm just going to scale it to the x-axis and i'm just going to scale it little bit more then scale it that look fine to me and after that i'm just going to apply the shade smooth yeah and make sure you enable the auto smooth as well okay so after that i'm just going to add one plane here then i'm just going to scale this plane little bit up and going to keep it upside then i'm just going to edit mode of this plane i'm going to subdivide this plane two to five time yeah that's look fine okay and now i'm just going to add the uh, soft body simulation on this plane so i'm just go my physics panel from the soft body i just going to enable this soft body and make sure you just disable your goal and just play the animation once so when you play the animation so here you can see it's not going to collide with this uh, cylinder so we have to just uh, select this cylinder and add the collision on it and now we have to just play the animation once again so here you can see our cloth is simulating very nicely but there is one problem it's going to intersect by itself so it is not good first of all so we have to just uh, enable the self collision on this physics body simulation from the here okay and now if i will play the animation so here you can see it's not going to collide with itself okay but there is one problem here you can see when that simulation is happening so we can see the uh, that cloud is going to intersect with this uh, collision object as well so there is uh, two option to fix it first of all you can add the subdivision surface modifier on it and then you can just add the smooth so maybe you will fix this problem to 90 percent but sometimes you can't so you have to just do one thing you have to just uh, select your collision object then you have to just go to your collision uh, object settings and um, under the soft body and cloth you have to just increase your thickness outer so when you increase your thickness outer around five so maybe you will fix this problem uh, okay so maybe you have to just increase little bit more maybe eight yeah i think that's look fine by the way so now here you can see uh, that problem is almost uh, solved okay so now i'm just going to add the texture on it so adding the texture i'm just going to enable my viewport shading mode then i'm just going to switch my shading panel and from the shading panel i'm just going to add one new texture from here and now i'm just going to add one color ram first of all and going to connect this color to this base color okay so now i'm just going to add the color on it so i'm just going to increase the or slider then i'm just going to little bit orange yeah i think that's look fine okay and after doing this so i'm just going to add one vornoi shader i'm just going to type vornoi yeah this is the vornoi basically and i'm just going to connect this distance to the fac so right now here you can see it will look like this so first of all i'm just going to duplicate this vornoi texture vornoi shader by the way okay and then i'm just going to change this setting from the 1d and this is f1 by the way okay and then i'm just going to connect this another one right texture to the w so it will look like this here you can see okay if i will show you here so then i will change this to 2d and f2 also so it will look like this so first of all i'm just going to decrease our randomness because we don't need it so we have almost a uh, good shape by the way here okay but and if you want to scale it little bit so you can scale it something like that and i'm just going to decrease increase a little bit randomness something like that and then i'm just going to keep this color 
something like that also so here you can see that's look fine to me okay but there is more possibilities to create lots of patterns so if i will change this to the uh, mini kushik so it will look like this so then we have to just uh, increase our uh, little scale so here you can see it will look like something like that we can just change our here you can see we can so from here you can create lots of pattern according to your uh, suitability okay so if you found little blur so you can just do sharp something like that so here you can see uh, we have created uh, some another pattern as well so i'm just going to uh, create some random pattern again so here you can see that's look fine also so from the one texture from the one shader we can create lots of pattern whatever pattern you want you can create it okay and if you want to see that pattern by the way how i create this pattern so i'm just going to show you how i can create this okay so for making this same texture you have to just uh, play with some settings so which setting you have to play by the way you have to just uh, move uh, something like that then you have to just decrease the increase the little bit scale yeah so here you can see that's look fine by the way okay so from the scale value you can create a perfect circle here you can see yeah so that's look fine okay and if you want to change the color so you can change the color from the here by the way whatever color you want so that's look fine okay and uh, for this wooden texture i have used the uh, this material library vx okay so i have already created one video on it so if you want to know how to use this material uh, library vx so you can see my this video so what do you have to do by the way just scroll it down and so from here you will see lots of materials so right now i'm just going to use the wood so you have to just select your material name then you have to just click the add to selection so it will automatically create a material according to your uh, object you don't need to uh, unwrap your texture it will uh, generate auto map okay so don't worry about the texture uh, don't worry about the uvs okay see here you can see it perfectly uh, wrap this texture on top of the cylinder okay and now i'm just going to add one more plane to bottom of this and then i'm just going to keep it here and then i'm just going to add the same collision on this plane as well and when i play the animation so here you can see it will look like this okay so that's how you can create this procedural pattern texture in the blender with the help of the node setup okay that is very easy you can create lots of pattern whatever pattern you want to create okay there is lots of possibility to create the lots of patterns okay so right now i've just give some little example to you so create a, a pattern so you can just use it and you can just uh, mix up all the settings and you can just create something cool okay so that's it for this tutorial guys and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have a suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys